Hey faves, it's your girl Blada Knows Best. So this is my ethnic tag slash Haitian tag. Chit chat, get ready with me. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. First question, what's my favorite meal? My favorite Haitian meal definitely has to be Zili uh, Pua, um, not Pua, no. Zili uh, Legi. Z in the game, I can easily eat that, like, constantly, with no remorse. Like, I remember growing up, like, that used to be my favorite meal that my mom used to make. And that was, like, one thing I would never, like, gati to not eat. So, pretty much, um, I was born in a city called Boynton Beach, Florida, and I was raised in Delray Beach. What's my mother and father's favorite phrase? My mom, she would love to say Pansyavin. Pansyavin. My son would be like, bruh, like who is messing with you? No one's even messing with you. And then like, you'd have my dad, my dad, my dad growing up, I used to always remember, he'd be like, first bill, first bill. Or he'd be like, rest not there. Do I speak Creole or French? I speak mostly Creole because like that's what I was like, that was what we mostly spoke at home growing up. But when I was in sixth grade, I started to learn French and then like I just took a knack for it. I may not be like the strongest French speaker, but I speak better than like a lot of people I know. People who are born in Haiti, who are like ride or die Haitian. I speak more French than they do. Where are my parents from? My dad. So pretty much, I guess in Haiti, it's not really. So you see how we have states. So in Haiti, they have departments. So my dad is from the département Jérémy, and he's specifically from a place called Damali. So I guess where he grew up at, um, they like to eat tom tom. They like to eat something called chaka, um, lamb tab. My mother, she's from the seed. Like in the seed, she's from this place called Ukai. Where they're from, it's very, very extremely country. I don't really know the favorite foods. Um, that they like to eat over there. I know for a fact that where she's from exactly They eat lots of bread Lots of bread and rice like I have a cousin like her nephew He like he's like oh if he doesn't eat rice for three days He starts to hallucinate to be honest I'm still learning how to blend colors just in case if you guys didn't notice because I have no idea What colors go with what especially for my skin tone? This is why I like give big ups to um, to makeup artists because and shout out to all the Haitian makeup artists out there. Makeup by BB. Um, that's all I can like, remember right now. Who I would let touch my face to be honest, but um, <laughs> but yes, shout out to them because to be honest, it takes a lot of skill to know how colors mix. What is my ethnic nickname? So I have multiple. Like my dad, my dad calls me Nene. Um, my sister, my, old, my second oldest sister, she calls me Neye. And then like growing up, like my godmother, she would call me um, Mimi, like a little cat. And I, it would be, it would suck because like when I get home, my siblings would like roast me and be like, oh, I look like a cat. How Haitian am I? Before I got to college, I didn't shower with a shower head. Growing up, we had a shower head, but it was rarely used. Like, I don't even think, like, the bucket, like, the little thing to make the shower head work, worked. So we had to have the bucket, and then we had the water bowl. And then with the water bowl, scoop the water and pour it on ourselves as we shower. So that was interesting, because when I got to college, I was like, damn, like, how am I going to mix the cold and the hot water? to make warm water because sometimes the water used to be so hot and I wasn't like I wasn't with it I was like damn like what do I do 
Do you like leave the water in the middle? During the hurricane, because we had no power. We literally had to strain our coffee in like a sock looking thing. You had to pour the coffee in there. Like you put the coffee grounds in there and you pour hot water. And then you wait for it to drain. And then you pour hot, you pour that same water. You wait for it to drain again. Then you pour it again until like, until you drain it, drain it, drain it. And then that's how you're gonna have your coffee. So that was the super sonic Haitian of me. What is it that I like most about the culture? So the thing that I like most about the culture is that like like that we're very resilient people. Um for example, I remember when there was um a craze about um about like whether should immigrants be deported and like people were being like mass deported. I remember growing up like people were afraid to go to church and it was like people used to have to have secret church and like have to have church at home because like immigration officers would be showing up to churches and taking people. Immigration officers would be showing up to jobs, showing up to where your kid goes to school. And it was like really bad. And I, I remember how even through all of that like the Haitians in my community still found a way um, to see how like how their lives can go on. What household item represents the culture? One household item I can definitely say represents the culture are the biblo. If your house doesn't have biblos, are you really Haitian? Are you? Next question. What was when was the last time you visited Haiti? Okay, the last time I visited Haiti was the summer of 1999 when I was three turning four I have very fond memories so it's not like the memories were terribly off I have fond memories of um how it was when I was there um I remember like sitting on the back of a truck to get around I remember drinking water out of a bag I'm sorry I love like I, I go overboard when it comes to sex right um, stuff like that. So it wasn't like there weren't terrible memories. I think the only terrible memory was like I, in like the I think I drink I one night I did drink water that wasn't good, and like I ended up getting very sick. It was terrible. Like it was like I was throwing up everywhere. Uh, what does being Haitian mean to me? Wow, I didn't realize that question was gonna be tough for me. Um. Being Haitian means to me that, especially in the country I grew up in, which is like United States, like I have to work harder than the average American because you have to remember, my parents weren't just born here. Like my parents, it took a lot to just to just be here was a lot, and then now I'm born here, so. Like, that's not something that I should sit here and take for granted. So it's like, I have a lot more to prove than a regular person who, like, who I could say wasn't born here or who doesn't, um, who doesn't have parents who are immigrants. Like, to be honest, my kids won't have to work as hard as I, I do. And like, 